After 22 years, Jedi Bob has finally made his triumphant return and set 75388 Jedi Bob's Starfighter. This set retails for 40 bucks and comes with 305 pieces. For those of you unfamiliar with Jedi Bob, he originally came in the 2002 Republic gunship as an unnamed Jedi, and since then has been deemed by the community as Jedi Bob. This set comes with kinda three minifigs. Obviously the first being the legendary Jedi Bob himself, who isn't the same exact fig as the 2002 version, nor would I expect him to be. This fig's smiley face is pretty much exactly the same as the old versions, although there is a second second face that has a frown which the old Jedi Bob did not have. Now there's some pretty significant color changes as well. This version of Bob's hood, cape, and legs are reddish brown, while the old Bob's was old brown which is not in production anymore. Then old Bob's torso was also old gray, once again not in production anymore, new Bob has the dark bluish gray torso. Then new Bob's cape is the newer better spongy material, overall a solid modern adaptation of Jedi Bob. Now the next figure is possibly one of the laziest figures I have ever seen, the Akbar Trooper. Now when I first heard about this set, I was really hoping we would get a similar figure to the OG 2002 Episode 2 Clone Trooper, but we got the Akbar Trooper instead. Now I realize this set is based off the Rebuild the Galaxy show and the Akbar Trooper is probably in this, but man, this is really disappointing because I could have made a thousand of these just by slamming some Akbar heads on a Clone Trooper body. Then the last figure, which I don't consider to be a minifigure at all, is the blue and gray gonk droid servo honestly super disappointing that lego considers these minifigs i don't care about gonk droids at all and this set should have four minifigs not just the three really two in my opinion so that's pretty disappointing now we have Jedi Bob Starfighter, and the first thing I need to say is this build feels so nostalgic. A lot of the features of it feels like something I'd build with my brother and friends 15 years ago. The way the engines are built, the guns, it honestly just feels super familiar, which is an aspect that I love about this set. Now we do get several stickers, which if this set came with the appropriate four minifigures, I would care less about, but it doesn't, so they should have been printed pieces, Lego. On the bottom, there are a couple spring-loaded shooters, which you can just push to the side to fire. And in the center, there's some clips, which you can store Jedi Bob's lightsaber in. In front of the clips, there's a piece of retractable landing gear, which isn't needed at all. The ship can sit perfectly fine on the front super nostalgic engines and look great but the retractable landing gear doesn't have a negative effect really, so it is what it is. Then on top there's a compartment that opens up and just has blue milk and a banana, it's just a pretty funny feature to add. In the cockpit there's a printed control panel and you can just shove Jedi Bob in with his cape as there's only two front studs, so he should fit in perfectly fine. Overall, I love what LEGO did with this build. It just feels so classic and so familiar. Feels like something I would build way back in the day. But the minifigs is where the ball is truly dropped. Jedi Bob is amazing, no complaints here. But we should have gotten at least two more minifigs, not including this gonk droid, because I don't care about gonk droids. He's not a minifig. Get him out of here. The Akbar Trooper. Why would I want an Akbar Trooper? Get him out of here. Is this set worth 40 bucks? I would actually say no. I would say 35 if we had three minifigs. We should have certainly gotten four minifigs, and these pieces probably should have been printed without those four minifigs. Uh, but honestly, as is, I would probably say it's worth more like 30 bucks. My overall score is an 8.3.